Hi, I'm Drew, the founder of Gym Possible, and today's workout is a little bit of a challenge. It's going to be a 30 minute in gym triathlon. But if you don't have any gym equipment at home, don't worry, you can do this using your own body weight. We're going to have Ella, Sean, and Louise in the sidebar doing some alternate exercises. I'm going to be doing the session on a rowing machine then a hand bike and then I'm gonna end on a ski erg. So it's, it's kind of like an in-gym triathlon really and the challenge is each section is gonna be 10 minutes and you're only gonna have one minute in between. So it's really gonna test your muscle endurance and your cardiovascular fitness. So without any further ado, we're gonna get started. Louise is gonna take you through a warm up and then I'll come back and I'll explain the workout a little bit more and then we'll jump straight into it. So I'm going to start off with the head and work down and that way we're less likely to forget anything in between. So we're going to start off with five neck circles clockwise and then we're going to do five neck circles anti-clockwise. And you can see from this I'm not taking my head back into an unnatural position, just nice and relaxed, taking it the opposite way. And everything you'd be doing, you need to be doing that in your pain-free range, guys, okay? So we've done our neck, we're going to work onto our shoulders. So we're going to start off with some nice big arm circles. Reach up at the top, a nice big stretch, just like you've got out of bed. I'm just going to do five or six rotations. And then we're going to do exactly the same, going backwards. And again, nice big stretch and back. Being careful not to overextend. If you have any hypermobility, guys, please be mindful. And I recommend in that case doing it in front of a mirror so you can be aware of any um, hyperextension. We're going to go into swimming forwards now. So just like front crawl, you're going to do one arm and then the other. And as you can see, that's just letting my trunk get involved now. So just starting to mobilise the core. And we're going to do exactly the same going backwards. Perfect. Okay, next up is the chest. And I'm just going to rotate to the side so you can see where I'm going with my arms. So with this, you don't want to take your arms back further than being in line with your back. So you're just opening up that chest, it's just like a little bit of a reverse fly. And then last but not least is the core. So I'm going to rotate from the middle to the right. Middle to the left. And then left to right. We're going to start off with some nice high marching. So if you can get your arms above shoulder height, please do. Don't worry if you can't. So just going to start off getting those shoulders nice and warm. Ten more seconds of your marching, guys. Lovely stuff. Okay, from there, we're going to go into stars. So again, if you can get your arms above shoulder height, let's try for it and give those triceps a little squeeze just as you extend those arms. So palms are facing forward with tricep extension, uh, with stars, sorry. 10 more seconds. And the last 30 seconds of exercise, we're going to do wheel taps. So, if you're in a normal chair and not in a wheelchair, you're going to do heel taps. So, wheel taps or heel taps. 
If you've got a strong core and want to extend that exercise, take your arms out to the side. And you've got 10 seconds. You can see I'm stopping at the top, making sure I've got good control. And rest, great. Okay, so the first section of the workout for me is gonna be on this rowing machine. If you aren't gonna be using a rowing machine, you could use the resistance band rower that we've shown you in the past, or you could um, do the sidebar exercises, which are gonna be led by Sean. For that, you will need a dumbbell. And apart from that, the only bit of equipment that you need for this workout is some water. I've got some water here attached to me since my hands are strapped to this uh, rowing machine. So if you are ready, we're gonna start off very soon and we're gonna use the rate of perceived exertion. So rather than worrying about how fast or how far you've gone, just work off how you feel. I'm gonna explain that, but that's the chart on the screen there. So if you're ready, we'll start in five, four, three, two, one, and off we go. So to start with, this is gonna be a really light effort. We're looking at about a three on that perceived exertion chart. We don't wanna go off too fast. You can always speed up later on, but if you go out too fast, you're really gonna have a bad time and you're probably not gonna complete the challenge if you're really struggling after only a couple of minutes. So let's just pace ourselves. So at a three on the perceived exertion chart, you're gonna be having a very light effort. You're gonna um, be able to maintain a conversation fairly easily. If you're doing the exercises from Sean, there's gonna be five different exercises and he's gonna go through them twice each. So obviously you can't hear what he's saying, but try and copy the movements and try and focus on good form rather than just doing them really fast. So that's just over a minute gone. As you can see on the bottom of the screen there, we have a little rower. You can take in the scenery and he'll give you some indication of how far you've traveled and how far you've gone. Uh, the end of the screen will be the end of this section. So as I said, after this, I'm gonna go on a hand bike. If you have a little tabletop hand bike at home, you can use that. Or if you have any other equipment, you can do that. And then I'm gonna go on the ski erg. And for that one, a good alternative would be doing a push outside. Or you can do the sidebar exercises. For the second section, it's gonna be Louise, so it's gonna be adaptive box fit. And for the third section, it's gonna be some seated cardio with Ella. Okay, so we're about two minutes in. I'm gonna ramp up the effort just a little bit. So I'm going up to about an effort four now. So this is a moderate effort. This is the sort of pace that you should be able to maintain for about 30 minutes. So you should be able to maintain the effort you're at for about half an hour and you should be able to continue talking in short sentences. Whew. All right, so that's three minutes, so just coming up to. Whew. You should be able to feel your heart rate elevating. You should be starting to feel a little bit warmer as we're coming to about a third of the way through this section. So this is a tough challenge. It's gonna be 10 minutes of continuous effort, then one minute rest as we change ex um, exercise equipment. So make sure that you get a drink in that um, one minute rest, but if you need to stop throughout the workout to take a quick drink, that's fine. You don't need to you know, 
know, go hell to leather all the time. You can stop for a drink here and there. That's not a problem. Okay, so it's gonna be about 40% through the workout soon. So now we're gonna go up to about five on the effort scale there. I can definitely feel my breathing is becoming more labored. My heart rate is definitely elevated. But I'm feeling good. At this point you shouldn't be too tired because we're not quite halfway through this first section yet. For me this is definitely the hardest part. It's quite difficult this rowing machine. And because it's hard I'm not going quite as fast but I'm going to get on the other bits of equipment and my speed will be a bit quicker. But on this, I'm just focusing on good technique and just getting it, getting through it. All right, so that's about 50% through this section. Gonna maintain a five on that chart. So remember, you should be able to hold the conversation still. But if you're still with us, well done, guys. You've made it one um, revolution through Sean's exercises, so you're gonna repeat those again. Or if you're on the rowing machine or any other piece of equipment, just keep going. great this is gonna be six minutes soon and that means we're gonna be going up to a six on the effort chart so now it's getting a little bit tougher you should definitely feel like you've got an elevated heart rate you should definitely be starting to feel a bit warmer maybe sweating a little bit but maintain a good technique Focus on technique rather than going really fast. <sighs> Try and focus on deep breathing because it should be getting harder to maintain a conversation as we get towards a vigorous effort. Remember, we do have a one minute rest after this. So I can push the last few minutes of this section. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So now I'm gonna go more towards a vigorous effort, which will be a seven out of 10. And increasing the effort doesn't necessarily mean increasing the speed. It just mean, it can just mean maintaining. Because remember, as time goes on, the more, of an exercise that you do, the more lactic acid you're building up in those muscles. So I'm not really gonna be going that much faster, maybe just a tiny bit. And as my effort increases, I will not be able to talk quite as much. Okay, last two minutes. I'm at about an eight now. Well done, keep going. It's getting really difficult for me now. Should be feeling uncomfortable now if it isn't. Maybe speed up a little bit.
All right, one minute to go. This should be about a nine, which is a very hard effort. So let's push this last minute. Come on, grit your teeth and let's get this done. Thirty seconds. Come on, guys. Last ten seconds. Push. All right, so we've got about a minute, so get some water, have a rest, deep breaths, and then we'll see you on the next piece of equipment. Yeah. Right, so we've moved on to the second bit of equipment. Um, make sure you get a last drink of water. So I'm gonna be doing the hand bike. If you are using no equipment, this section is gonna be some adaptive box fit. Louise is going to be taking you through five different exercises. You don't need any equipment for this, but if you want to hold some light weights in your hands, you can do that. But it, it, you know, it's something like half a kilo, nothing too heavy. But if you're ready, we're going to jump into it in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so our heart rates are already elevated from that first section. So it should already be about five about a moderate effort. So um, we'll do that for the first couple of minutes of this and then we're gonna start ramping it up. And towards the end of this, we're gonna be really pushing it quite hard and you should be feeling quite tired, ready for the final section. So we'll get through this second section and then we can worry about that third section when we come to it. But as you can see, we've now come into the city um, part of the course. Uh, there's lots of people cheering you on there. <clears throat> the bike will show how far you've completed through the section. So uh, keep an eye out, there's some characters in the background there. But um, that's about a minute, just coming up to a minute. So that's 10% through this section. We're gonna do one more minute at about five on that effort scale and then we're gonna crank it up a little bit. But I'm feeling pretty warm. My heart rate's definitely elevated even after that one minute rest. It's just about enough to get me, <clears throat> get my breath back, enable me to catch my breath. But it wasn't really enough time to get that lactic acid flushed out, so I can still feel that. That's why we're not setting off too fast yet. But if you've made it this far, you've already done really well. We may as well keep going and see if we can finish this section. And then, if you do this section, you may as well make it through the third one as well. But it is a really hard workout, that's why it's called a challenge. That's two minutes. We are testing your fitness. So the more gym possible workouts you've done, the easier this will be. Right, so we're going to push to about a six on that effort scale. So this is kind of the top of moderate effort. So this is about the maximum pace you could maintain for around about 20 minutes to 30 minutes. And as I go up the scale, it is going to be harder for me to talk. I hope you're enjoying the workout. Please let us know what you think about this new format. We'll try and mix it up all the time with different sessions. If you have any ideas for a session, leave a comment, either on Facebook or on YouTube, or you can send us a private message if you've got any ideas or anything that you would like to see. Right, that's three minutes. So at about six, we'll maintain this for another minute. 
try and maintain good form. I find myself tipping forward when I'm working hard, but remind yourself that good form is just as important as going fast because you don't want to end up getting an injury because you've uh, not focused on good form. Likewise, if you are using any weights, make sure you're not using weights that are too heavy. But we're getting through this quite quickly. We've already done about a third of the way. As you can see on the little um, map at the bottom there, the hand cyclist there, we're coming up to about 40% through the town section. And if you're using a large screen, you might even be able to, spell, uh, to spot Wally at some point. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for him as well. All right, so that's four minutes. One more minute of six, we'll say, and then we're gonna be moving up to a seven. So I'll do one more minute of this, because it is quite difficult as it is, and it's only gonna get harder. So we don't wanna to peak too early. Make sure you're staying hydrated as well. Strapping the water to my shoulder is quite useful for me because so I can get it even up out the use of my hands. All right, and as you can see, we're coming up to the halfway point of this section. So now, as we approach that halfway, let's ramp it up to more of a vigorous effort. So this will start feeling uncomfortable. And I mean that aerobically, you might feel a little bit of burning in your arms, but it shouldn't be pain, it's just more like a tiredness obviously if you do feel any like muscle like sharp pains you probably need to stop um, it's more muscle fatigue that you should be feeling not like a sharp pain but let's keep pushing it remember it's gonna be a vigorous effort so you're not really gonna be able to hold much of a conversation more than just a sentence at a time which is why you'll hear me stopping more as we get into it. All right, well done everybody. That's 60% through this section and I'm really starting to feel it in my shoulders. My breathing is definitely harder. You'll probably be feeling the same, but you should be already through one sequence of Louise's exercises. And then you've just got four more to do if you're doing that part of the workout. Keep pushing. Like I say, this should be about a seven vigorous exercise. And after this, we're gonna go up to an eight. And we're gonna maintain that for probably two minutes. But this should feel harder than the first section. And then the third section should feel even harder again. Okay, so just coming up to seven minutes. Let's speed it up. This should be really a vigorous effort, a number eight on the scale. and we're gonna maintain this for two minutes. That's seven and a half minutes, well done. If you made it this far, you're more than halfway through the total workout. So you're doing really well, so just stay focused. And before we know it, we'll be having a one minute rest. Coming up to eight minutes, about 15 seconds. All right, one more minute at an eight, and then we'll bump it up to a nine. So stay focused, maintain good form, 
Focus on your breathing. This is getting hard. The arms are starting to get fatigued. Grit your teeth, a minute and a half left. You can do this. Okay, so now let's push to a nine out of 10. This is very hard effort. Push. Come on guys, 45 seconds to go. Just about. Push. All right, last 30 seconds, let's maintain this pace. You don't need the sprint finish, just maintain what you're doing. Because remember, we've still got 10 minutes to do on the next piece of equipment. 15 more seconds, come on guys. Let's finish it off. Five. Three, two, one, and stop there. Well done. So get a quick drink, and we'll move on to the last section of the challenge. But if you made it this far, well done. Grit your teeth and we'll finish this off. I'm just gonna quickly run through the exercises so you know what to expect. So we've got the first one, which is the diagonal reaches. You're gonna reach out in front of you diagonally as quickly as you can. And we're gonna go on to our lawn mowers now. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do a short pull with that elbow nice and high, and then a long pull following your arm all the way through. And you're just gonna reach over and then reach the other side. Good job. We're then going to go onto our wheel or toe tap. So you're just going to bend down, touch the floor on one side, bend down, touch the floor on the other side. If you're struggling to bend down and touch the floor, don't worry, you can reach out to the side as far as you can go, come back in, reach out to the side as far as you can go and come back in. And finally, we're going to finish using our whole body and do some bend and stretches. So you're just going to bend forward, come back, stretch up into the air as far as you can. Bend forward, come back, and stretch up into the air as far as you can. Okay, so well done, you made it to the final section, but let's not host ourselves a celebration party yet because we've still got to get through this final section, which is going to be the hardest. I'm doing the ski erg. Um, if you're doing the exercises in the sidebar, that's going to be Ella doing seated cardio. Or if you don't have any equipment, but you want to do something different, you can take your wheelchair outside and do a push outside. So there's plenty to do and it's, uh, it's going to be hard from the start. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so the clock started. So from the very start of this, we're already feeling tired. So it's probably going to be a seven from the start, which is classed as vigorous effort. And vigorous effort means that it's uh, it's going to feel uncomfortable and it's hard to talk for more than just one sentence at a time. So, although we're feeling tired, it's still very important to maintain good form no matter what exercise you're doing. So focus on good form and deep breathing. I'm just trying to maintain a consistent pace here. Try and tick off the minutes for the first five minutes. 
And then once we get to five minutes, we can really push. So well done. That's already two minutes. So it flies by when you're in that flow state. The flow state just means that you're just completely in the moment, focusing on your exercise, not thinking about the outside world, just thinking about getting through this session. And you find that you get, when you get in that state, your performance is much better. So that's two and a half minutes completed. Great job guys. So that's gonna be three minutes that we're coming up to. So now let's push to an eight. So this is kind of what we're going to be looking at for the next few minutes. An eight out of ten. That's kind of the top of the vigorous effort chart. So excuse me if I don't talk as much. Brilliant work guys, that's 40% through this last section, as you can see at the bottom there, the crowd is going wild, okay so keep pushing. five minutes just listen to the music and focus on good technique try and tune out the pain stuff everybody so that's 60% of this section completed mentally these next few minutes are going to be tough I just focus and it'll be done in no time
right? So that's 70%. So now we're gonna be right at the top of that vigorous effort on the scale. So saying more than a few words is becoming difficult. So let's push. Come on, focus. Okay, so that's two minutes left to do. So this should be about a nine out of 10 on the chart now. And saying more than just a couple of words at a time should be almost impossible. Dig deep, minute and a half. Okay, well done. One minute to go. Okay, so 30 seconds, 10 out of 10, sprint finish. Five. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, challenge completed. Well done. So, I hope you appreciate it. I don't sandbag when I film these workouts. I uh, try and push it as hard as I can, which isn't always easy when you're trying to talk at the same time, but well done. If you completed that workout, that's brilliant. That's not easy. That's 30 minutes of pure exercise. And um, I hope you enjoyed it in a kind of sadistic sort of way. And um, you can always come back to this and challenge yourself. See if it's any easier next time or see if you can go faster. But um, yeah, that was a great workout. I had a really fun time doing it. And I hope you enjoyed the graphics on the bottom. And like I say, let us know what you thought. If um, there's anything you'd like to see from us in the future. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you now and let Ella take you through a cool down. But yeah, I've been Drew and I hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. That has definitely woken me up and sorted me out for today. Well done, really good. I'll give you 40 seconds rest, get your breath back, get your composure, have a drink, and then we'll go on to a five minute cool down. Really good. This has been perfect for me to do today and it's really helped me get my muscles going, I like it. Guys, do you like my nice purple t-shirt from Gym Possible? Do you like it? I absolutely love it and it's one of my favourite t-shirts now to wear. So if you really, really like it, you can actually buy these now on the Gym Possible website. Um, they've got them ready to sell. Or contact Drew and he'll be able to sell you one. Um, they're really good and, and you can maybe work out in your Gym Possible workout gear with me and it'd be perfect so if you feel like you're part of the team feel like you're part of us and 
yeah, have fun with us. They're really, really comfy to wear as well. And they just look great. I love the purple. I absolutely love the colour. It's my favourite colour, so would highly recommend buying one if you can. Really good. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. It's been great. But we're just going to finish off with a five minute cool down. Make sure we're nice and stretched out so we're not going to be sore tomorrow. So it's really important you stick with me during this, this five minutes and make sure you really stretch out your body as much as you can. Okay, so we're going to start off with some arm rolls first. We're going to do 10 backwards on each arm nice and slowly. So when you're ready, just follow me. We're going to go one, two, three, nice. Four, five, six, seven, eight, really good, nine, and one more on this arm, ten, really good, well done, and then we're going to switch over, do the same on the other arm, one, two, three, Four, nice, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more on this arm, ten. Really good, well done. Shake out those arms, make sure you're nice and loose. And we're going to finish off with our stretches. So you're going to have your arms straight, cross it across your body, and just support it at the elbow with the other hand. Hold it there. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax again. Well done, really good. Switch over, we're going to do the same with the other arm. Hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And really good, well done, and relax it there again, well done. You're then just going to reach up with the other hand, drop it down behind your back, and if you're able to, pull it across with the other hand, hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stretch out around, really good. And same with the other arm, stretch up. Drop it down and pull it across if you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good, well done. Let's stretch out and round. Classic stretch that I love that feels so good. What you're going to do is you're going to reach up into the air as far as you can go and hold it there. Really stretch up. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stretch out and round. Really good, get a nice good stretch there. And of course, we're going to finish off with our neck stretches, guys. So, what you're going to do, sit nice and tall, have those shoulders relaxed for me, and you're going to tilt your head to one side and gently hold it if you want to. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, really good. And the other side, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good, well done. And relax. And shake it all off, guys. Get nice and loose. If there's any other stretches you want to do, then please go ahead and do them. I really can't advocate stretching enough, so please make sure your body is nice and stretched out and there's not any sore points or um, stiff points. Make sure you're nice and loose. Grab a quick drink there, guys. Well done. And give yourselves a round of applause. Well done, because that is the end of your gym possible workout. I hope it's given you a bit of variety and you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me again today, guys. It's been really nice working out with you again. And I can't wait to be back with another video again soon. So keep an eye out on our channels 
And remember, we've got our live sessions that we do every week. Sean does Tuesdays afternoons at five o'clock. Um, Louise does Thursday afternoons at four o'clock. And then I do five day after Friday afternoons at five o'clock again too. So keep an eye on our channel. There's always stuff going on. Keep nice and fit and active. And we'll see you, see you again soon. Stay safe, guys, and see you then. Bye!